show you. These boxes over here are full of fungi. And these boxes over here have got liverworts in them. Would you like to see a liverwort? I know you would. This is my favourite liverwort that I show people because it's in a see-through packet. So you can see it there. It looks a bit brown and squidgy. But when it was alive, it would have been green and squidgy. And this is uh, collected from uh, South America. And it says, you can see here, it says type. And that's very important. That means that this is, uh, this was, uh, when this species was discovered, it was discovered new to science. Uh, <clears throat> so, and that is called a type specimen. So if you discover something new to science, you must have a specimen, which is called a type, and you must publish a description in a reputable journal. And your specimen and your description go hand in hand. Uh, so basically, if you're an institution, uh, the more type specimens you have, the more kudos you have, really. So we have about, well, we don't know really, but we think maybe we've got about 5,000 type specimens. Uh, whereas Kew Gardens, they have got about 260,000 type specimens or something like that. So Kew beats Manchester. Um, I'll just show you the spiral staircase, uh, which is there, and up there is a tower, and that's where we keep the flowering plants from the rest of the world, Cosmo Melville's collection, really. Um, I'll take you up there another time. But now, I shall take you to see the mosses, very quickly, which are up here. This is our mox, mosses, boxes. It's a kind of combination of moss and box. And these are our moxes, our moss boxes. And this is how we keep the mosses in these little packets here, like this. You open them, and then lo and behold, there's another packet inside. And then you, this is 1883 from Coniston. This was uh, collected, and there is the moss from Coniston. So if you go there and you find this moss, you know it's been there since at least 1883, and probably a lot longer. And that's it.